I think it's important that personal and um, subjectivity and difference becomes embedded in the way that we think of art, the shape that art should take. Um, and I, you know, I know that people would sometimes disparage the personal subject matter as being like kind of the naive or the art school um, subject matter and then you kind of grow out of it and you engage in these larger universal themes around form and around content. Um, but I'm sort of interested in something that that doesn't forget that like certain individuals and their personal subjective realities haven't actually been seen in art in art history and that is kind of a curious and interesting evolution for our time is to understand what kinds of people make what kinds of art. So we know what kind of art we have right now and we know the people who have largely been the producers of that art. So what is the art that people make when certain kinds of subjectivities and interests start to take form? Um, and maybe it doesn't look like what we're used to looking at and I think that's the challenge, um, but that's also like the exciting part of it.